Hello, welcome to my video. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to talk to you about preparing for the exhibition or for an A, a exhibition. And uh, before I do that, there's a couple of things. Firstly, if you aren't already subscribed to my newsletter, I send a newsletter out every uh, month or so, which gives you updates on all the things that I'm doing, including the exhibitions, including um, new work and including workshops. So I'll put the uh, link for that if you're not already subscribed and you're interested in doing so uh, in the details for this video. And the second thing is, um, for those of you, I don't know how, how many of you know, but I have an online course that I set up last year, which is called Making Your Mark. Uh, as of uh, December, I was informed that the uh, platform that I had my course on called Coursecraft was closing in April, so this coming April. So what I've been doing is finding another platform and I'm pleased to say that I've found one now. So if you all have already uh, signed up and already done that course, you have access for at least a year. So um, I, you already have got an email from me letting you know what's going on. And once I have it all set up on the new platform, I'll send you a link. If you're at the stage where you want to sign up and uh, you can't sign up to it at the moment because I've closed it on Coursecraft, you can still sign up for a free lesson and quite a few of you have already done so. And if you have done so, um, don't, don't worry, you'll be notified from me once it's up and running on the new, the new platform and then you can uh, sign up to do the full course. And I will let you all uh, know about that, but I didn't think it was fair for people to sign up uh, now for the full course and have to transfer relatively quickly from Coursecraft onto a new platform because they do look uh, slightly different. Anyway, so that's all my updates. What I want to do today is to talk to you about setting up for the exhibition. Obviously for the last year or so, I've been sharing the development of my paintings and I'm pleased to say that I'm now on just varnishing and finishing off uh, those final ones. So I have uh, a body of work of about 30 paintings uh, to, uh, to exhibit at the joint exhibition at Gallery Oldham starting uh, the 5th of March. Now that might sound long way away, that's uh, six or seven, seven weeks away. Um, but actually there's an awful lot of other things to do in addition to the paintings. So thought, what I thought I'd do today is to share what those other things are and how that all kind of manifests itself really. So um, I have, I will refer to my list. I have a list here, um, which looks really organized, doesn't it? Three, three columns. So I've got painting related, um, because although the paintings are in their final stages and most of them are framed and there's more to be framed, there are other things to do uh, associated with the paintings and, and my work on location that I'll share with you. Then there's all of the work for the actual exhibition itself, um, the actual you know layout of the exhibition, how will that all happen? Uh, and then finally marketing, because unless we market it quite well um, through all of our social media and other other ways, then nobody will know, and you you won't know about it, and you hope, you you know won't know to when to, where to come and so on. So we need to market it so people come to the show, and hopefully lots of people turn up for the preview, which is on the first day on the fifth of March. Okay, so. I'll go through each of these in turn and I'll try and give you an overview of, of what is involved. So in terms of the paintings, obviously I've talked a lot about those and you know they're, 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 these last group are pretty much um, ready now to go to the framers in the next week or so. Um, in addition to that, um, I have, as you know, I've been doing the monthly mark making. That is a group of, of work that I want to share as part of the exhibition. So they all need covers. Um, so that's quite a bit of work and I will share at least an overview um, video uh, in the coming weeks about that, about those creation of those covers, just so that you can see and, and the finished uh, booklets. And then in terms of the paintings, there's actually quite a lot to do with them in addition to uh, the actual physical painting itself. So the first thing is obviously they need names. Uh, titles, uh, for want of a better phrase, and most of those are now done. I shared a video about naming of paintings, but there's still a few to do, and so I'm still f thinking about a few of them. But then subsequently, those, all of the photographs of all of the paintings need to be uh, organised on the computer, they need to be uh, named so that they can be shared with the gallery, so that they can be uh, shared with my website and so on. 
Um, but in addition to that, the paintings before they go to the exhibition, I always put labels on the back of them that um, have the title, the name, uh, my details, my signature, date and so on. So all those labels need to be done. Uh, in addition to that, although they are ready to hang, uh, my frame does a great job with putting strings on so they're ready for anybody that would buy one of my paintings to hang on their wall. The gallery need us to put mirror plates, which are little uh, screws that anchor them to the wall on both sides of the painting. So all of those need to be done. So that's a quite a big undertaking for 60 paintings. And then they all need to be individually wrapped because they will be going to the gallery a um, couple of weeks in advance of being hung. So they will go to the gallery in a, month, so in a month's time. So that all needs to, to be done. So when you work backwards, you realise that you need to start things earlier than, than you think. So those are pretty much, in summary, the kind of things that I still need to do associated with the paintings and, and the, uh, the work, work on location. So let's now talk about the exhibition. Well, you know, in terms of the exhibition, uh, it's a wonderful gallery. Uh, it's a gallery two in Gallery Oldham, which is a very light, large space. So it has glass on two sides and then concrete walls on either end. Um, but that means that there are movable plinths where the paintings are hung. Uh, so that the layout of the gallery is very much up to ourselves. So what we're doing is we're working with a little model and um, I've scaled the, I've, we've, print, we've got um, all of the uh, paintings digitally and we're printing them out at a scale so we can work out the layout at each of the walls. Now you could do all of that on the computer but we're going to do it longhand as I say with printed out pieces that we can shuffle around because there's two of us and we want to work out the layout. So that's quite a piece of work. Um, so that is needing to be done in the next uh, week or two because the gallery need to have that by the end of this month, the end of January. In addition to that, obviously I've got sketchbooks and I've got my monthly mark making. So I'm working at the moment, I'll just show you this. Um, this is a kind of a way I'm thinking about how to lay out all those sketchbooks and the information on them and how to create a shelving system for those uh, those 12 uh, monthly mark making booklets. But in addition to that, I have six concertinas. So I'm, so I'm working out how I might be able to uh, get the gallery to make me something to, to show each of each of those concertinas and how that, that might best be done. So that's all uh, the layout. And uh, then of course, the exhibition needs to be uh, narrated somehow. People need to know what the exhibition is about. Yes, the paintings will have titles and they'll all be uh, shown on the, at, the, at the exhibition, but there needs to be a narrative about what the groups of paintings are about and how they've come about. So there's a big introduction panel. So when people come into the gallery, they know what it's about and whose exhibition it is, i.e. myself and Hugh. Um, there then needs to be individual narration of individual elements of the exhibition. So there's smaller areas of text to narrate and tell people about those different elements of the exhibition. And in addition to that, we're fortunate to have uh, a really good guy who's a photographer uh, and a videographer who's doing a video about the actual overall um, process of developing the works. Uh, and that needs to be displayed as part of the exhibition as well. So there's there's all of those things that actually have deadlines of we need to get all that writing done um, by in the next couple of weeks. And then the third thing and final thing we need to think about is marketing of it all um, so that people know about it, people are aware of it. So we're starting to work with the local press. We obviously have all of our social media outlets and we're trying to push through and promote our work through our own um, uh, avenues, be it the website, be it Instagram, be it here on YouTube, wherever. Um, but we also are contacting local press and local radio, hopefully to get some promotion through that. Uh, and also, um, there's a you know the the, the idea of of, um, of promoting it through flyers. So we are working uh, to develop some flyers, and there possibly and quite likely will be a brochure. Um, just to, sh to, to share that, that has our paintings in it. So all of that has to be organised and, and uh, collated really and put together. Um, and then there's one exciting thing we can't, I can't share with you yet, but we're hoping to get some coverage on a really exciting um, platform 
um, which if that happens, that will be really wonderful. And uh, obviously through our own newsletters and we're wanting to share our story as we go on. So that's the other part of the marketing. So all of those things um, are happening, you know, in parallel um, and we're just trying to juggle them all really. And I'm trying to sort of be really organised with my timelines and things because before we know it, otherwise people will be shouting for things that we haven't yet delivered. So it's really enough to keep us quite busy over the next few weeks. And what I'm going to do, um, just to finish with, is just to let you know, what I'm going to do is I'm obviously going to share the overview of the uh, monthly uh, Marking Seasons project. But I'm also going to try, before the paintings go to the exhibition, I'm going to try and do a series of videos that just share with you um, each of those groups of work, be it Moors, be it Woods, be it Panoramics and Edgelands. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.